Well, hey, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Hot Cheat for Roswell, Georgia. I'm your host, Tanya Gardier McLeod. And today is Wednesday, December 20th. Let's take a look at what the rates have been doing. If we look here, we can see they came down just very so slightly, 6.64 today. 15-year uh, fixed is at 6.13. Man, that's a nice number. Look at that FHA loan you can get for 6.11, same as the VA loan. You can get a jumbo for 7.03. You guys, these rates are getting back to where we were uh, as far as the decade. So reminder, when you're here and you come to um, the third to the mortgage calculator. So if you go to my blog, you uh, go to the daily uh, mortgage rates, you'll end up here and you can then take that rate, the 6.64 and go over here and actually calculate. So you can fill in that rate right here and see what it does to your payment from 964 on a $200,000 loan to 6.64. And there's your new 1283 rate. So obviously in Roswell, we don't have very many things you can get for 200,000 for a mortgage unless you're putting a huge amount down. But anyway, it's a great calculator and you can go back and forth between um, this calculator and then the mortgage rate. So just as a quick reminder that how do you check that? And then um, another thing I wanted to share with you is if you go to my YouTube channel, you can find the daily hot sheets um, playlist where you can go back and look at each of the past days we've been doing this since November 1st. So now let's just jump in and see what is happening here in Roswell. We have one new listing that came on the market and this is over um, in a subdivision called Indian Creek in Kyoto uh, Run. This happens to be, let's see, let's see let's large. Um, it's in the Lassiter School District right here, uh, offered for 405 new on the market here. We have one that fell out of contract, came back on the market. Y'all, this is super cute. This is on uh, Mountain Park Road. This is that little subdivision, that whole little community that's its own city that is part of the Mountain Park Elementary, but Mountain Park proper, if you will. This has two different buildings. This is really cool. This is These have been um, income producing for the owners. They've owned them for like 45 years. So there's a main house, which this is it. I mean, it's beautiful. Everything is in great shape. Looks like it's been taken really well care of. Uh, and to think that this has not even been occupied, owner occupied, this has been a rental income producing for the owners and they're selling, um, look at the master bathroom. I mean, it's really very well done. Now here's the back of the main house. Now there's this access to this lake, but it's not, they don't have a dock permit. They have permission based access from the owner who does own uh, part of that lake. So uh, hopefully that would carry on to the new owners. And then there's little carriage house. Look at this. It is also another separate building that they've got um, converted all into a little home. So you've got an office that's here on the main floor. So it's not like a garage. They use it as a whole house. And then upstairs is where the kitchen and the living space is. And then there's a full bath up there and a little loft area, I guess, where you maybe you put a bedroom. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? So this is a great opportunity. It's offered at six ninety five. dollars So this is one that did fall out of contract, came back on the market. So you've got an opportunity. We had two that experienced a price decrease. One is in Chimney Lakes and one is in Bristol Oaks. So Chimney Lakes is East Cobb, Lasseter High School, and Federal uh, Road is Bristol Oaks, which is uh, our Roswell High School uh, and Crabapple Middle. Roswell North. So those, um, let me just show you the front of these. This is the one that came back on the uh, price decrease rather, 575 now. And then this one, really nice one here in Bristol Oaks offered at 725. Okay, and let me see what it came down from. It was at 750, it's now at 725, so a $25,000 price reduction. And then this Drayton was, it's now at 575 and it was at, wow, 635. 635, that's a very great aggressive uh, price decrease. So great option there for uh, if you're looking for some good deals. Here's one that increased their price. Uh, Barnes Mill, this is new construction. This happens kind of uh, when they're doing, trying to keep up with the upgrades and the, and the appreciation of what's going on. So it's offered at 1163. Um, and then we've got three that went pending, one withdrew, we had four that closed and one that expired. So again, if you have questions about what's going on in your specific market, maybe it's not Roswell, maybe it's, you know, Marietta, maybe it's Woodstock, maybe it's just, you know, in the city of Atlanta, please reach out to me. Let me know how I can best help you, uh, whether you're looking to buy or sell with these great new rates. It affects both buying powers for you if you're a seller, because that affects the buyers that you would attract. You're now opening up to a bigger pool of buyers. And then um, you might be able to leverage some equity in your current home to buy another home and the rates are really you know 
they're getting close to what we are used to, what we've been used to for decades. So um, I hope that this has been helpful for you. And if you have any questions, I would love to be a resource. Uh, reach out to me. Let me know. Let's go have a cup of coffee and talk about the real estate market. Hope you're doing great and happy hump day.